Wow, I can't believe I am on 10 books right now. I just published my 10th title. And um, yeah, never thought I would <laughs> have a thick collection of children's books starting out four years ago, which there was no agenda to be a children's book author. I literally just drew this illustration one day and a couple days later I thought, oh, how cool would it be to um, create a storyline around these two characters? And the two characters were what would become Roku and Tanza. And um, after I published Roku and Tanza, I, you know, long story short, I came up with other storylines in my head, you know, just the ball started rolling um, just with vast different storylines. And I created nine more books um, within those three years. So just reflecting back on, you know, becoming a kid's book author so organically, just out of necessity. Um, I think it has a lot to do with my art background. I was an artist. I've been an artist for almost 20 years. And I think it was just like a natural progression for me to go into the children's book realm because I do a lot of fun illustrations um, within my portfolio of drawings. Um, that's my bread and butter. That's how I started off as an artist when I was three years old. Um, drawings, you know, that's the rudimentary thing. And I think that's how kids can get inspired too by looking at kids' books and seeing, oh, maybe I can draw that way growing up if they have a knack for artistry. Um, also, just coming from my childhood, um, I, I think we bring a little bit of that into our adulthood. It's, you know, I, I think there's a few children's books that stick with every adult when they get older, and it's just a place to retreat. It's this cozy part of our brain that we like to go to that reminds us of the good old days and um, when we had other people taking care of us and everything. So that's the nostalgia of children's books. And I think that I, I think the hallmark of a great children's books children's book is one that um, inspires and entertains both child and adult. So obviously I go into each of my books with that in mind because I'm creating for two audiences, the parent and the child. Um, also, of course, kids' books from my past have inspired me. To this day, um, they stand the test of time, and that's what I want my, my children's books to convey. Um, I want them to be timeless and passed down to generations, like the ones that I've been inspired by. Just to name a few, um, when I was two years old, my mom used to read me this one book. It's the very first book I remember. It was called Muffin Mouse. And I actually, before I could really comprehend reading anything else, I memorized that book. I could read it, um, read it, quote unquote, at two years old. And then, you know, we moved on to other books. Um, a few that stand out are Johnny Appleseed by Jason Kellogg. He's a brilliant illustrator, and I was just really inspired by his illustrations from a very, very young age. Um, very ornate, very realistic, a lot of time went into these. Um, Audrey Wood's um, The Napping House, also super classic, very realistic. And I just really, I, I think from a young age, I've always admired realism in books and sophistication within images. And I think I carry that on. And, and, I, and I know that there kid, there's kids out there that like sophisticated illustration work. And I think that's what I bring to the table. Um, it's not so um, overstimulating to, to kids, but it is very time consuming. And um, there's a lot of children's books out there that are just very um, overly cartoonish and animated and not realistic. And that's a style, that's a style for sure. Uh, but mine is more realistic. And I think that's what a lot of people have appreciated about them. There's also some books that are a little more um, simplistic, which have totally been timeless. And those ones are Eric Carle, super popular, loved his books. Shel Silverstein, The Giving Tree. Um, those are some, some of my favorite books as well. So I just carried those, you know, some of that inspiration over into my, my, my own, um, book production. And I already had like, you know, the style going for me anyway. Um, as far as like, you know, doing children's books and, you know, just 
I think the most important part for me is to is to have these leave a lasting impression for the child. And like myself, I carried special books with me into my adulthood. I want them to bring my books with them into adulthood. So that's like, that's like my dream. Like that would be the coolest thing to have someone come up to me 20 years from now and say, Oh, I read your book when I was a kid and it was one of my favorites. Um, you know, some of my work is mostly on the entertainment side, but, um, a lot of them, a lot of the books have light lessons in them too, which is important. So if you can have universal lessons in each of your books, I think that is something that pertains to every child. And that's, um, that's really important to have those lessons in each book. So that's what I bring to the table for most of my books. And there is something for everyone here. Um, probably over 300 or yeah, probably over 300 illustrations in this whole pile of books right here. So, you know, each illustration takes anywhere from on the rudimentary illustrations I've done 30 minutes all the way to six, six, seven hours. So, um, I probably put in over a thousand hours of work into my collection. And, um, I'm really proud of the fact I've gotten through, you know, not just the illustration time, which I already have a natural knack for, but to wear these other hats as a self-published author, you have to wear several hats to make it. Um, hats that you don't want to wear, you know, technical hats. I don't really have, you know, the affinity to do technical things to, you know, bring my book into production. And there's a lot of technical parts of, um, this industry. So anyways, um, I am so proud of my collection and it's a big part of me being a fine artist. And, um, I just hope I can keep on reaching out to people through my books and having a lasting impact on kids and their parents. <laughs>